Thank you, Derek. Yeah, some people going to be late for work today, it Lorraine. Looks like it. But not Lorraine, because she's already out at Nate. She's there. She's not already ours. Hi, Lorraine. And we're in an area, good morning, Shay, Jen. This is an area where you want to be protected, so we're sounding like we're talking in a shower, Melissa. <laughs> Hi. Yes. So what's happening here? Um, we have our standard x-ray machine here. We have a phantom or a doll that we're actually going to be doing an x-ray of. And this is pretty typical of the x-ray machines that you'll actually find out in Alberta. I see a sort of body parts over on that far tray, so I assume that this machine would take x-rays of just about any part of the body. Yes, any part of the body, um, and we use it for pretty much any bones. Okay, this is a setup that you would find where? Hospitals, clinics? Uh, pretty much, it's a standard setup for hospitals and clinics, but uh, we actually have one over here that's for the emergency room as well. Ah, so if you can't take the person to the x-ray room, I assume that's what this machine is for, Melissa. Yes, absolutely. We would bring the x-ray machine to them, especially in emergency situations or surgery where we can't bring them to the room. Okay, what's happening over here? So here's an example of something unique to Nate. We do simulations, so we bring in uh, real live patients or actors to simulate scenarios that they might see out in the hospital to better prepare them. Okay, this is a two-year program, combined lab and x-ray technology. What kinds of things do the students learn? They learn both lab and x-ray, so it's very unique. Um, so they learn how to take blood and analyze other body fluids in the lab and report those results to the physician, and then do the x-ray side of it as well. Now, this is specifically designed for students to work in rural areas, is that correct? It is, absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's uh, nice to have a person on who can do both areas. All right, this must be incredibly comprehensive, though, as studies go, to learn all of this in two years? It's a lot. It's a lot of hard work, but it's a lot of fun and a lot of hands-on, and they get to do an eight-month practicum out in the, the hospital, so they get some real, real-world experience. So when they're done, what are the job prospects like? Mostly, majority of rural areas. Uh, starting wage is about $29, hour, $29 an hour, I believe, so mm -hmm. there's lots of jobs out there. We have a very high uh, success rate after the program. Okay, so this is one program that you might want to consider. During the open house, their doors are open. You're welcome to come down, talk to students, talk to staff. And on a Monday morning, I think that this is pretty much apropos Shay. We have a slot for you. Oh, come have I'm a nap. on my way. Have a nap. <laughs> that looks ideal. When we come back, a woman I doubt very much you would find here at any given time, Shannon Savados, oh, gold medalist. Cool. Hockey goalie, she's yeah. taking the personal training program oh, here. Okay. So we're going to chat about that and show you what that's all about in just a few minutes. Interesting. Very okay. cool. Star-powered morning. Thanks, Lorraine. Mm -hmm. The Nate Open House happens October 14th and 15th. For more information, call 780-471-NATE or visit them online. The Morning News webpage at globaltvedmonton.com.